Hey everyone, this is Adrian Z, and today I have a tutorial for you on the 11 hour hopper timer. Uh, now, I should clarify, of course, before we get started, you probably will never need an 11 hour hopper timer, um, but this timer can actually be set as low as uh, one tick in the game and anywhere from that to 11 hours. So you could set this to a 5 minute timer, a 10 minute timer, 20 minute timer, etc. Anytime you want up to 11 hours, 22 minutes, and 40 seconds. And actually, if for some reason you wanted a timer that went longer than that, um, with a mild extension right here, adding, um, just pulling this whole section over one block and adding a repeater on one side here, you could double that time. Uh, but you'll probably never need to do that. Now, it's hard for me to demonstrate this working for such a long period of time because we probably don't want to just sit here and stare at it for 11 hours. That would be a pretty uh, unexciting video. So I have this currently set to 10 seconds just so I can demonstrate how it works. Um, the output you would pull from this torch or the torch you can't quite see on the other side doing the same thing. Uh, so if we watch that torch, when I hit this button right here, uh, you can see the torch is now off. It will remain off for 10 seconds. And then it will turn back on, and your output, you could just pull off the side of that torch uh, to whatever you needed it for. So this build happens in three stages, and each stage has its own limitations uh, and uses, and so I will cover those as we build it. Um, but this here is um, stage one, which many of you may recognize. This is a hopper timer, um, I believe originally created by Etho. Uh, his, of course, is uh, horizontal. You would just take this top layer and lay it next to it, but it does the exact same thing. Um, then this is the second stage, which is basically just an extended version of that. And this is the final stage, which actually allows us to pull out the input that we desired instead of it just being on a clock. All right, so everything we need to build this is right here in this chest, uh, just a few blocks, mild amount of redstone. This is not too resource heavy. Um, and the only other thing you will need is some junk items to fill up your hoppers to set the timer with. Alright, so let's go ahead and show you how to build this thing. Okay, so the first stage of the build is just a basic hopper timer. In order to build this hopper timer, we need a platform that is six blocks wide. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to slap a block down on either side of this platform. And then finally, we need to remove these corner blocks because we'll need to put something there in the future. To build the timer itself, we just need two hoppers in the center that are facing into each other. Um, if you're not aware of how to do that, just hold down shift while you click on the hopper, which will place a hopper instead of opening the hopper's inventory. Uh, next, after you've made sure these two hoppers are facing into each other, we need to put a comparator facing away from them on either side into this block, and then a redstone dust on top of each of those blocks and then we just need two sticky pistons facing towards each other off the edge of that redstone with a redstone block facing into it. Alright so this is the end of stage one of the build. The reason that you would want to stop here is if the timer you need only needs to go up to about three minutes there's no point in building anything more than this. Uh, you can either use the tick from this redstone block or by powering into the side to create the timers that you need up to a little over three minutes. The only reason to continue is if you need longer. What we're going to build next in stage two here is going to allow us to extend the timer from a little over three minutes to up to over 11 hours. So let's go ahead and build stage two. Okay, so for stage two, we're basically going to repeat what we just built, except the horizontal version. First, we need to connect them by placing two blocks off the side of each of these hoppers, and we need to place a repeater facing away from this timer on each block. Next, we need to place two hoppers on the side. We're basically going to repeat this timer now, face them in to each other, just like in the first stage. And then come underneath here, we're going to put six blocks like that. One, two, three, whoa, four, five, six, and then a block on either side. And then again, it's just a comparator facing outwards into the block on the side. Now this time we're going to build it horizontally instead. So we need another row of six blocks in front of it. 
We want our redstone dust on the side. We're just going to repeat this one block over and down, like so. Uh, piston there, piston there, and the redstone block right here on the side. And then to finish connecting them, we simply need to hop up here and place a redstone dust on top of each of these hoppers. So this completes stage two of the build. Uh, the reason to stop here would be if you need a constant tick at whatever time. In other words, if we place two blocks here, we can place redstone here, and we can have our output be right here. If I turn this machine on now, we'll just slap a few items in. Uh, if I put five in here, five, and five in this other timer, this timer is now set to 10 second ticks. Uh, the way this timer works is every time the first timer completes its cycle, it sends a flash to this timer, which allows one item to tick. Every time uh, this moves in this setup, this redstone will flash and send you a pulse. So if, for example, you needed to have a, uh, a command block in a world which would do something every five minutes, you could set this timer to five minutes and every five minutes it would happen. If, however, we want to be able to use this signal um, by inputting it, have the timer run once and then stop, uh, say for example you want to set up a timer to know when you need to breed your animals next, uh, you could click a button which would turn a light off for five minutes after you had bred and then the light would turn back on, but what that means is we need to stop this timer in between each cycle, and so that is what we're going to build now in stage three. Alright, so I went ahead and removed the items from the hoppers so that we don't have to listen to the pistons while we're building. Um, to show you how to put in the inputs, what we first need to do is just put these two blocks back here, and we need redstone dust on either side. Next, we need to place a torch on the front of each of these blocks. We're going to go underneath these two blocks, go down two, remove that block right there, put one next to it, and under e underneath each of these torches we need two redstone dust. On the back of these uh, we need torches on the other side like so, and underneath these two torches we need two hoppers which will face into each other, like that, and you will need one item, does not matter what it is, inside these two hoppers. Come underneath the two hoppers, place a block temporarily, we need to go one, two, out. We need a comparator, this is going to be the machine that turns off the timer. Comparator of course is only going to have a one signal here, so we need to add a repeater to extend the signal. And then we need to come up one block like this and then actually up one more and this is going to go out underneath exactly like this pattern here and then up one again just like above so we're basically repeating that block pattern we then need to put a redstone torch right here and right here underneath these two blocks by powering these two blocks we turn off this mechanism which turns off the entire timer to turn it on we need to invert the signals by having this redstone line right here and then on the other side we need to connect it to our off switch here currently this is in the on state uh, so when the item is here this powers all of this which turns off these torches which stops powering this block and allows the timer to work when we flip this switch here uh, this will turn off these torches will turn back on which will in turn turn off the machine now to be able to toggle this uh, there are two options. The first option creates a little bit of an odd uh, happening, which I'll show you. Um, our output would come from any of either of these torches on either side. So if I just temporarily take a redstone lamp, I'll demonstrate here. Give me my button back. You can at this point just place a button right here, but you'll notice if you watch the uh, hopper timer here, let me put this in there this in there. Let me let it run its course here. 10 seconds is all it's going to take. There we go. 
if we just push this button now, if you watch the lamp over there, you will notice it flashes once before turning off. Now this won't really affect our timer itself, and so if you don't mind that, all you need to do is put a button right here, and you're good to go. Uh, what happens is this pulse is too long. The item in here, when you push the button, will actually go left, right, left. And if you were to push it again, it would go right, left, right. We only want it to move once, so what we need to do if we don't want that flash is to add a pulse shortener, which is as simple as coming off here like that, take a block around the front like this, and like this. You want this shape here. We need to put a piston facing up, and then we can go ahead and remove this bottom block, put a block on top of the piston. We need a repeater facing from this block into here on two tick delay, and a dot of redstone here with our button right here. This adds a pulse shortener, so if you watch the light this time when we click the button, it just turns off, there's no flash, and we're good to go. The final thing to mention would be, if you want this button farther away, that's not a problem at all. Just remove the button, pull this wire out to wherever you want the button, place the button here, and you're good to go. Lastly, let's talk about the timing. This first hopper, every item we place inside of this hopper chain here will increase your time by 0.4 seconds. Uh, so that means the 5 here is adding 2 seconds. Um, if we wanted to say time this for a minute then, for example, you would need a total of 150 blocks or in other words two stacks plus 22 items would set this first timer to one minute. Then in the second hopper chain right here you multiply that for every item you put in here. So for example we just put 150 items into this timer here which means this is set for one minute which means for every item we put in here that would be one minute two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, and so on. Uh, if we put in, say, 300 blocks into this timer, this timer would be two minutes for every item. All right, so that concludes our tutorial on the 11-hour hopper timer. Of course, uh, most people probably won't use this for an 11-hour timer, um, but I'd be interested to know what you do decide to use this with. If you come up with anything, I know this could be used for uh, mini games. This can be used for anything in your world that needs a 5 or a 10 minute timer, like uh, maybe an automatic farm, uh, things like that. I'd be interested to know what you guys come up with. Leave me a comment telling me what you were able to use this machine for. Also, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I'll try to answer every single one I get. Um, in addition, if you check the video description on this video, I will include a download link to this world uh, so that you can see each individual stage and our completed build here as well. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like on this video and also feel free to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe if you like my content uh, for more good stuff. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great one.